Right, hello, welcome back to Amy Junction. Today we are going to be taking a look at um, this parcel I recently got. Obviously with the whole coronavirus thing going around, um, it's time to do a lot of modelling and I'm not going to say that I panic bought anything, um, but I'll be totally honest, the only thing I did panic buy uh, was model railway stuff um, to keep me um, sane at home for the unprecedented amount of time that all of us could be staying at home for. Um, obviously, government advice is to stay at home, so obviously that is great for us modellers as we can get loads of progress done on our layouts. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing, and I'll be showing you some of the new stuff I've got. So uh, here we go. Items of goodies we've bought recently. Uh, we've got some bits from Goodwood Scenics, um, from www.goodwoodscenics.co.uk. Very, very good customer service. Um, they're really helpful, so if you've got any questions, they'll get back to you super quickly um right so i'm going to show you what i got in our little package so if i unwrap it and try not to drop it let me just pick that up right okay so what we've got to start off with we'll do the biggest item first i think uh we've got scrap metal pieces um so that's what it looks like um and this is the medium pack so <laughs> I'd like to know what the large and extra large looks like, as this is plenty for what I want. Um, so I'm kind of doing a scrap scene um, on the loft, so I thought this would look quite nice. And obviously I can fill some wagons up, obviously because that's what it is mainly for, as you can see at the top. Um, but I thought, you know, make a nice scrap pile and it would create a nice little abnormal scene. I've been looking for scrap metal for ages, ready to go. Um, and I finally found it at Goodwood Scenics. Um, and uh, yeah, Goodwood were really, really good. Um, they were very helpful and had everything I needed. Right, so next item then. Um, we kind of have to zoom in, uh, trying to keep you in focus. Uh, we've got these nice um, rusted chains. Um, so these were nice, quite nice on a depot, just um, piled up to one side. It's a nice little bit of detail. Um, it was only a couple of pounds. It's a metal chain and, you know, you can't really go too wrong with that. Um, quite nice. And obviously, you can do chain lick fencing with it as well. Obviously, you, it's endless what you can do. But I thought that was quite nice as well. Right, so moving on um, with our scrap scene items. Um, so we've got rusty scrap bows. Um, so obviously, when it, it's all crushed, uh, this is what you would get. Um, so these are quite nice, um, so that's all there, um, you get, I think, 16 of them, um, so you get quite a lot, and they're like five pounds, um, so they've quite, go all nicely together with the scrap metal stuff we've got so far. So, uh, last item then, um, well, out of the scrap bits from Goodwood Scenics, um, is these scrap corrugated bits of metal. They're rusty on one side, shiny on the other, and they will look nice mixed in, obviously, with our scrap, and uh, mixed scrap from earlier and all our other stuff. So you just plonk them about the face, have a pile, um, similar to what you can see at the top on their little picture, and it will just look really, really nice. So I've got quite a nice selection from Goodwood Scenics. Um, really, really great company. Um, I've only just recently found them and I definitely will be buying from them in the future. They were really, really helpful to me and uh, yeah, can't recommend them enough. So go and check them out, goodwoodscenics.co.uk. I do want to point out, I've not been paid um, to say this. I bought this with all my own money. Um, they haven't sent it, so um, it's all my true honest opinion and I can't fault them at all. Right, so this is what we've got. Um, this is from Goodwood Scenics, again, ordered from them. Um, really stunning. So this is obviously a class 12543 uh, HST. Um, stunning, stunning bit of kit. Uh, superb locomotive. Obviously, it's a non-runner, um, if you can have guessed, obviously, because you wouldn't expect that to be running in a front of a rake of Mark threes um so obviously this is a nice item to have in your depots in the disused side ins um or in a quiet part of your layout just parked up 
um it's absolutely stunning and i'm so impressed with it it's even better than it looked in the picture um goodwood scenic sell loads of these they're all on their website so you can see their full range they do steam diesel um wagons they do all different stuff so you can go and check them out and see what they've all got fully on their website um but obviously my era is kind of this era um so i thought why not have a hst um as i thought it looked superb obviously they're fully weathered they're faded they've got this kind of like tarpaulin over it um and obviously nice detailing across the whole thing even with keep off like spray painted on it and um if we zoom in close to that uh it even looks like it's been spray painted um in the way in the font is done which i think is really really clever and cool um so just picking this up then uh, it's got a fair amount of weight still in it um so it's not really light um so it still feels you're holding something quality and yeah it's it's stunning um as you can see i'm just so impressed with it um and i think that'll look great up the loft and it probably will come to shows um when i do the exhibitions of riverside tmd and uh yeah defo superb and it was only like 30 pounds 35 pounds i forgot the exact price they can all be found on goodwoodscenics.co.uk um but yeah i thought it was really good for the money um it might have been 39 pounds i don't know i forgot um but it, it weren't too much considering um like it's technically a loco um obviously it don't work and that is literally just a pure um model if you can use that in these terms um but yes yeah, stunning i could talk about this for ages but i won't but really really impressive can't wait to get it up on the line.